Hello YouTube and welcome to video 3 out of 4. Okay, so we just made our we just made our zone. Now you need to go into the Realm Crafter game editor. Okay, just wait for it to load up. takes ages to load up so I don't think it's crashed it will just take its time depending on how long you have been using it if you've been using it for like a couple of years it will load in instantly if you've only just started using it like me then it will take ages okay so you go into your zones and if you look in your zones, you've got that. So de click on the zone you just made. It'll load in. Okay, so you've got your zone there. Um. Okay. Then, we're just going to add an NPC in it. First, but first... Um, hold on a minute. That weren't meant to happen. Firstly, you go to the plains, which is the main land. And by going into the plains, you can create a portal which goes straight to the, uh, the zone that you just made. Um, this is just going to be a quick um, view thing because the reason I need to keep these videos short is because it takes a while to upload them onto YouTube. Um, so it's never going to be longer than set 8, 9 minutes. Probably 10 for the exception of me just losing time, track of the time. Anyway, so you go into zones, go into the zone that you just made. Okay, yo, you move around. Okay, then, t then go into the planes. Right, okay, um, as you can see, I've already got a portal to the land of snow, which is my other zone I made, which is there, and the characters to walk into it, I have put a crystal. I'm just going to move all the way over to the here, um, right here okay we're gonna go into the scenery change okay we're gonna go into props because you want something where people walk into it um if we go into props we can you we could use Um, uh, 
We'll use a skull. Okay, and we're gonna place it there. We're gonna scale it. If you don't know how to scale things, you use the arrow keys. We'll just make it bigger. There we go. If we turn around and look at the front of it. It's like that. Okay, we, j we might have to make it a bit smaller. Like that. Okay, um, so then, you go on to the portal mode, you type in the portal name, we're gonna call it, to land of dead, linked area, death island, oh wait no, we'll change that to, to death island then, and then we can't have a linked portal name yet. So anyway, we right click. We'll just make it bigger. We'll let by scale. Um. So it's there like that. If we zoom out, we can see that. Okay. Then we click link to portal name. Yeah, we can't do that yet. So, anyway, you click save zone. Then go into the place where you want to put it. And then you have to find. Oops. Where, where is the place going to be? Where is the port. Where the en where's the entrance of the portal going to be? I'm gonna have it right there. So name of the portal. Oh, wait, first we need to find something that will do it. We will have. Um, we're going to props to. We will have a. Skull pile. We'll put it there, and then we'll scale it. So it's around like the same size as this area that we're putting it in. We will have it like that big. Right, okay then. Um. So, then we go into the portal mode, we call portal name, two planes, linked area, planes, linked portal name, we'll have that start, then put it there, and then scale it bigger. Okay then, there we go. Nope, there. Right, so then you click save zone. Go to the planes. Go back to where you put the, well where you put your um, portal. Which we can see there, it's the skull. Okay, we're just gonna select that and 
keep it as that to planes. We're gonna move that just over there. Okay, then we'll save the zone. Okay, and now we need to add an NPC on Death Island. Okay. So I'm gonna add NPCs all around this house, all around this building. Okay. So do that. We're gonna go into the. Two arrows, waypoint one, and then click to add the waypoint. Right click to add the waypoint. Click that. Okay, so then you find an acted spawn. We're gonna have a. Werewolf. Okay, and. We'll keep it as that. Okay, so you need to go on that, then do it. So you've got the flag just above land, so he doesn't spawn under the ground. So about there. Okay, save zone because now you need to go into the actors, find the werewolf or whatever you put in. Appearance attributes got health needs to be above a zero or it won't spawn because it will be dead. So we're just gonna add it health to sixty out of sixty. Okay, make sure it's strength is 15 or above. We're gonna have it as 20. His dexterity. Is 19. Speed. Is gonna be 40. Okay, then you click save actors, go back to zones, and click save zone, and then it should be there. We're going to put another waypoint there. Right, okay. So, we're going to have the next one that appears is going to be... A lich god. No? We will have it as... A dragon familiar. A dragon familiar. Okay. And we need to go into precise again. At, put his Y always use the Y position because that like get makes it go higher. I'll put it there. Okay. Then we need to save actors find the thing we just put in. Dragon familiar. Okay. You got health, 30, 50, 11, 10, 30, 73, 43. Anyway, that's kind of like correct, so we'll save it like that. We'll, we'll sh 
see what it looks like. It looks like that, so we'll be fighting this element like that. Um, okay, save again. Zones, and then I'll add more onto it later. But while it's like that, we'll just save the zone. And then in my next video, we will be playing it. So, see you then.